everyone i hope you're doing well and staying safe at home with your loved ones and today i'm back with a very important topic that you should know and you might be wondering what is so important well it is parts of speech and the parts of speech are important because they make speech which is why they're called parts of speech and speech makes every language but for us it makes english and if parts of speech wasn't a thing then speech wouldn't be a thing that means english wouldn't be a thing either and there are 10 parts of speech but some people are mistaken that there are nine or eight parts of speech and that is because they have left out some of the parts of speech that are very rare to be considered parts of speech and the 10 parts of speech are um noun pronoun verb um adjective article, determiner, conjunction, adverb, interjection, and um, preposition. And now I'm going to give you a little introduction to all of the parts of speech. I'm not going to make all of them too long because I'm gonna cover all the parts of speech in this video. So first we're going to start with nouns. So a noun can be a person, uh, um, it could be a place, it could be a thing, or it could be an idea. And an example of a noun that's a person could be uh, Sam Reddy or Pratyush or Smriti. And an example of um, a place could be um, Russia, China, Zambia, and an example of a thing could be um, um, lamp, a pillow, a chair, or a phone, and an idea. That one's kind of tricky, but it could be a noun because it it could be something like honesty or kindness, thought or dream. And nouns can either be proper nouns or common nouns. A proper noun is a noun that's specific, so it needs to be capitalized. And an example of that could be like an exact name of someone you know or an exact name of something and some and an example of that could be like ferrari the name of a car or um or uh if you want to say the name of uh, an exact person you could say emily and um common nouns are kind of the opposite of proper nouns. They're nouns that are not specific, they're general, so they do not be capitalized. An and an example of that could be like car, you could be talking about any car. You could say book, you could be talking about any book. You could say Apple, iPhone. Uh, it, you're not talking about a specific Apple iPhone and you're not talking about like an exact iPhone 11 or exact iPhone XR um, and the second part of speech is pronouns and you might be wondering what is a pronoun well a pronoun is a word that replaces the noun in a sentence and there are some pronouns that I want to tell you and uh, they are I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. 
and if I were to use a pronoun in a sentence, I could say that Zoe is afraid of heights, but she loves rock climbing. In this sentence, she is the pronoun in the sentence because she is replacing Zoe, which is the noun in the sentence. Third part of speech is the verb, which can be a little tricky because it is based on the tense and the pronoun, and a verb is an action word. For example, if I were talking about a boy, then I could say he likes uh, he likes baseball, and in that sentence, likes is the verb because um, it is the action word because the boy is doing the liking. And if I were talking about a group of boys, then I would say they like baseball. And in that sentence, like is the verb. Um, and you can see how it changes a little based on the pronoun. And uh, in the first sentence, he likes baseball, likes is the verb. And in the other sentence, like is the verb. For the plural, um, the S is taken off. And for the singular pronoun, the S is put on. Some examples of verbs could be run, jump, cook, um, fly, uh, glide, and guide. Next is the adjective. An adjective is a word that describes a specific noun. And adjectives um, make um, it easier to identify things. If without adjectives, it would be kind of dull and boring. You wouldn't be much fun in writing, and you and someone could say the car, but instead they could say the red car. That would be talking about a specific car. Next up is the article, and an article tells more about a noun, which is why it's basically just considered an adjective and people don't count it as another part of speech. But it is sometimes considered as a part of speech in the 10 parts of speech. And um, there are three articles and they are the, a, and an. Well, and the is talking about something specific and 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 are just random and you could say a car which would be just a random car or you could say the car if you recognize the car or if you if it's your car or your friend's car or your dad's car and um like um, the red car, like, right? Yes. You can say like the red car. Yeah, you can say the car if you recognize it. Or you could say a car if you don't recognize it. And A and an are confused very often because um, A can... Um, a is used whenever the next word starts with a consonant sound, but an is used for when the next word starts with a vowel sound. Uh, and they can be a little mixed up, such as the word hour. Hour starts with the letter H, so you might want to use the word A, but that's incorrect because it, it, um, our does start with H, but it sounds like a vowel sound, and that's why you would use an over a. Next up, 
we have the determiner or quantifier. The determiner can also be considered an adjective because it is kind of describing how much or how many there is. And an example of that could be there are many children in the classroom. Here, many is the quantifier. So we have the adverb. An adverb can describe a verb, sometimes an adjective, and even another adverb. And, um, and most adverbs end in ly, but that's not always. An adverb could also be something like extremely or to and um and like if very yes very can also be an adverb and if i were to give you an example of this i could say lily quickly finished her homework in this sentence um you could ask yourself how did lily do her homework she did it quickly so quickly would be the adverb because it is telling you how she did her homework which is something you should watch out for if you're not sure if a word is an adverb then you should ask yourself does it answer the question how the next part of speech is the conjunction a conjunction is a word that connects two clauses or sentences together and some conjunctions could be but so nor and and um an example of a sentence with a conjunction in it could be um if i were talking about two separate sentences and i want to con them with a conjunction I could say I have two sentences they are I did not do my homework my mom is angry with me if I were to connect those with a conjunction I could say I did not do my homework so my mom is angry with me the next um, part of speech is the preposition the preposition is a word that describes the location of something and so you could say uh, some prepositions could be on between inside outside and an example of that could be uh, the chair is on the carpet and beside the window the next uh, part of speech is the interjection which shows a strong feeling or um expresses a lot of emotion and it's usually an interjection is usually separated from a sentence and ended with an exclamation mark and um some interjections could be like omg or ah and if i were to put an interjection beside a sentence i could say O M G said the boy in amazement. And another example of a sentence with an interjection could be Hooray, we won the match. So these were the 10 parts of speech, and I didn't uh, go into too much detail because I don't want to make the video too long. And um, I um, and if you want to learn about the 10 parts of speech in more detail, then you can check out my future videos. And don't forget to like and share my video, subscribe my channel, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss another post. Bye!